Okay, about a year ago, I debuted for you the original Locto when I went to my conference in Hawaii, and it's that time again. So, um, yay for me. I love, love, love conferences in Hawaii. So, they've since come out with the Locto Sport, and I wanted to do a bag battle and just show you the differences between the two bags if you're kind of on the fence about which one is the right bag for you. So, this one has been loved and worn in and broken, and actually... Frank, it's not in my bag anymore because my husband liked it a lot, and so he kind of like commandeered it. But uh, while this bag was mine to use, I used the heck out of it. So I used it sort of for like a gym bag and just like an everything bag, a weekend bag, a hiking bag, a camping bag. Um, and I loved it. When I went camping, I used it like I hung it off a tree so it didn't get anything like nasty in there. Um, but I just found it to be insanely versatile, great for going to the beach. And so when they came out with the sport, I was super excited about it. Let me tell you primarily, before we go into details, the main differences. So with this bag, the original, it weighs a little bit more. It's leather here versus nylon here. And this one is lined only on the pocket. So it's not quite as water resistant as the Sport, which makes sense, because this is probably something that you wanna take if you're kayaking or doing anything of that nature or boating or whatever. Um, and in addition to being more water resistant, it's also the sport because it's slightly smaller, um, slightly smaller in both the measurements and then the capacity on the interior. And then it's also more water resistant. Before we get into the bag, I wanna show you the back as well. So the difference here is the straps. These ones are noticeably, like I can do this, they're noticeably softer. These ones are a little bit stiffer, but you can see it's got a reflective aspect to it, which is nice if you're gonna be out at night or uh, running or anything like that, um, just to be seen and it's more visible. And then let me flip it around. You can see that other than that, which means other than the straps and then the sort of softness of the bag and then this component, the style is very similar, right? So there's not much to it. Um, and I do just wanna make sure while I have before I flip the bag inside out, that you're seeing like when I hold the bag like this on the original, and let me turn this tab um, so I can hold it easily. So check it out. When I hold them by their tabs, you can sort of appreciate the slouchiness. Like look at this one. It's softer in nature because of the unlined versus this one, like really keeps it sort of rectangular structure. So that's primarily it. Let's get into the interior of the bag because I want to show you that I think is a lot where the difference is, right? Um, not only is this one lighter, smaller, more water resistant, but there's some design changes on the interior. So let me turn the original inside out as well. Okay, so this is the back of the bag. And check it out. So on the original, the only thing lined is essentially the pocket. It's got a zipper pull on it and a key fob. This one, the same thing, right? It's got a zipper, but the zipper has no pull. It's a more substantial uh, zipper though. And they both have the key fobs and I'll just bring it in close so you can see. They are, to me, they look very, very similar. I can't tell any differences. Um, but there is a significant difference on the pocket, so I just wanna show that to you. Notice how deep it is on the Sport, and I'll show you that. This is the Samsung Galaxy S7. When I stick it in vertically, it's just kind of coming out the top. Um, when I do that on this one, let me open it up. There's probably, and you can't really see it, but there's probably three inches between the bottom, I'm sorry, between the, the top of the phone and the zipper. So it's significantly deeper. And this is why the bag is more structured. So not only is the material different, but this is lined almost the entire bag with the exception of this top border. It's lined all the way around, all the way to the bottom, which is adding to the water resistance. It's also adding to making this bag more structured. This bag is not lined with the exception of the pocket. Um, and let me just flip it around. Here is another huge difference. So on the original, it's just the bag. So we only have the one single pocket. 
Um, and let me put that down. And on the Sport, we have this. Two open pockets. Just hit myself in the face with a phone, but that's all right. We're going to keep going. Um, and my Samsung fits in there really easily. And it's kind of nice that it's divided so that the phone doesn't turn, whatever. Um, and then, then you have room for your, I don't know, wallet, etc. cetera. Um, and it's nice for easy access. There's one pocket that's open, at least, or two pockets that are open. Um, so I really like that about it. And I think this one's nice. Like, this is going to be, for me, like a beach hiking bag. Um, because of its lightweight and its water resistance, because frankly, I lost the other one to my husband. Um, but I, I really, really like this bag. And the other thing I want to say that I found is really useful, it comes in this bag when you get it. Uh, and I wanted to show it to you for a few reasons. I want to show you that it can fold up really pretty small. So if you want to tuck it in your suitcase, it's a great one to tuck into your suitcase. Um, and don't throw this bag out because even if you end up never folding it back and storing it in here, I found like this is a great little beach bag to put in like your flip flops and all that kind of stuff and all your shoes. So, um, and all your kind of like, if there's any wet beach gear that you don't want sort of sticking up your bag, put it in this thing and then stick it in your big lock tote. Um, so this is a really nice little thing that they send you. But other than that, this is the lock tote sport. I'm so excited. Um, that they came out with like a lighter, more, more athletic, active version. And stay tuned for my full review on this bag. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I took it with me to Hawaii on my trip. I'm not even sure if that's true. Did I do that? Um, and they're, they're fairly similar. I'm going to bring them up close so you can see.